Hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel where it's my opinion or no opinion at all. Scottalicious McFabulous here and I hope that you are feeling Percy. Give me my time. Give me, give me my time. And today, Kate Spade hops into spring with the brand new Lily Frog Collection. So let us take a shop with me trip to Kate Spade Retail to check it out. Hello, my baby. Hello, my honey. But before we hop into the Kate Spade Retail shop with me trip for the Lily Collection, if you guys love handbags, Halls, Kate Spade, Luxury, the whole lot of those. Please hit the subscribe button if you are new. And if you guys enjoyed today's content, make sure you hit that like button as it does help me know you enjoy today's video. And it helps with that YouTube Al Go Rhythm. <laughs> Now y'all know exactly what time it is. It's time to get Percy here at Kate Spade Retail with some new pieces. First, we're gonna be looking at the Dottie Bloom Flower Applique. This is the small zipper bifold wallet or whatever wallet they're calling it. Bit of a tough button. Light blue, pretty inside. Kind of like a periwinkle or something. The flower applique is kind of cute. Not my style. Definitely not my style, but it's cute. $178 Canadian plus tax. So it's an okay price, I guess. And then the dotty flower applique small a card holder 118 dollars they come in this cross grain patent leather with like a smooth leather dotted applique so it's cute definitely pops not really my style but it's it's a cute it's cute and then here we got the knot satchel. The classic knot bag for Kate Spade. The knot satchel is actually really soft. And the knot, like the leather knot on the handles is actually kind of interesting. I like it. I don't know if I would ever buy one, but still nice. $458 for the knot with a dotty applique. The dotty flower applique. Has a button snap in the middle for like a little pocket there. Magnetic button closures. Nice, simple, easy, and elegant. A nice grab and go bag. Perfect for spring and summer. And then we got the Dotty Floral Applique in this white cross grain wallet. As well as the long zip around wallet. So we got lots of options with the small leather goods. Unzip the wallet. Try to get a nice look for it on the inside and everything. Nice zipper. Nothing cheap, really. I mean, I don't really like cross grain leather because I think it feels kind of like plastic. But I know cross grain leather definitely holds a little better. $258 for the Idotti Floral Embossed Wallet. Okay. Wallets have gotten so expensive. Because, girl, you could buy a bag for that much money. Especially one on sale. I think 
brands need to really start taking that into consideration. Here we got this cute red pebbled leather crossbody with this cute floral chain. The chain is not removable, but it's definitely really cute. The Jolie Novelty Flower. $328 Canadian. I like that one. Again, no nothing I would buy, but it's still cute. And then speaking of cute, we got the Lily Patent Leather 3D Frog Hobo Bag. I'm getting really sick and tired of these long ass pointless names. Like, can we just, just sweeten it up, man? Like, it's not that hard. Just call it a, a frog hobo bag. Like, we don't need like a novel to explain the name. But the bag's cute. And I actually really like it. I don't know if I would ever buy it, but it's definitely really cute. $498. Uh, serene green. I think it's the light green color. It kind of treads a little close to like pastel-y green. And I really hate pastels. Um, it is cute though. Like it's actually really nice. And I'm not saying, oh, you know, it's cute. It's cute. No. Like this one is actually like really adorable. Like the little tongue sticking out. I like it. And then speaking of something I surprisingly liked, this is the mini knot crossbody tote. The knot mini crossbody tote. The knot so knot mini, $328. I liked these. These are just like really simple, really soft. Nice little take on a Kate Spade classic. And then beside it is the color blocked variation. Each has like a different color of microfiber suede lining. Nothing to clock on these. I like them. Croc embossed. Three hundred and fifty eight. So there's a little bit of a markup just because it is like an embossed leather. Really nice. And then speaking of really nice, look at that brick of butter. Look at the brick of butter that is the boxy color blocked east west crossbody. It literally looks like melted butter of bricks. Um, what more can I say? It's actually really nice. And it, we, we're not, we're used to the crossbody, like the boxy crossbody. But, like, I feel like they upgraded the leather on these. Like, these just felt and just seemed a little bit more slicker. A little more buttery, if you will. I mean, you can just tell with the way the light catches the finish of it. These were actually really nice. But with a premium price of $598. So, the East-West crossbody ain't cheap. But it's nice. Feels nicer than the boxy crossbody itself. So I feel like just for that alone, it kind of gains a couple points. Now, something that I actually really, really like, and that's actually really fun, it's the boxy color blocked tote. And this thing is so retro looking. I, I feel like this is giving me like uh, 60s vibes. Is that is that right? 60s maybe? It is dope. I love the leather finish, same as the boxy East West, and it had like this cute little fabric tote kind of lining, drawstring style, a beautiful, beautiful leather crossbody strap. Like, look at that leather. Completely shocking. Completely shocking. $598 as well. So that's not horrible. Maybe get it at a discount. I'll keep an eye on that one. That's for sure. I really like that. And I know you guys are seeing that tweed right there. I really apologize. I forgot to get footage of the tweed bags. Next time, I promise. Next up, though, is the Lily 
polka dot wicker 3d frog crossbody <sighs> very cute adorable sickening you know you've heard me say it's cute a million times i just feel like kate spade does the word cute very well and like it's just an easy way to describe a kate spade bag in most instances like everything today we've seen is cute you know would i buy most of it no but it is still something 658 dollars ma'am that's a high price tag that is a really high price tag but like i can kind of understand it um the inside it's you literally open the top flap and then like it's not the most um ergonomic bag let's say that not the easiest to handle and then this little cutie the lily sonnet dot printed 3d crossbody has like faux pearl eyes that are like a chain very unique very fun I like how the, the legs just hang. And then we got the little Lily Sonnet bag charm. Or the Lily bag charm. $138. I like that one. Kate Spade really knows how to do a good bag charm. Let's be serious. Let's be for real. <laughs> Lily polka dot cross grain leather card holder. $78. Not a horrible price. And then we got a little polka dot uh, zipped card case. Kind of has like a wristlet vibe to it. And I dropped the price tag. Butterfingers. $118. Okay. Better priced. I say there was a fair price in. 78 and then 118 that's not bad i know some brands would try to get away with extortion for those <sighs> and then here we got the snap bifold zip wallet cross green leather on the inside just your basic polka dot lily cross green leather wallet like nothing special Sorry. Unzip to reveal the price. $138 Canadian plus tax. There can be a hundred people in a room. Maybe there is right now. And 99 don't believe in you. But all you need is just for one person to believe. There can be a hundred people, hundred people, hundred people, hundred, hundred, hundred people, a hundred people, a hundred people, a hundred people, a hundred people, hundred people, hundred people, hundred people, hundred people, hundred, 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 or a thousand, nine thousand, or nine nine hundred ninety-nine. There can be a hundred people in the room in the room in the room and ninety-nine, ninety-nine. Alrighty, you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed today's uh, Lily Kate Spade collection shop with me. The dotty floral appliques and embossings and all of that goodness. What was your favorite? My stuff, my favorite was probably like, you know, the frog stuff and the boxy color blocked tote. That is sickening. I loved the way it just looked 60s and like it just it had a specific vibe to it that you don't really see in handbags very often but anyways what was your favorite and without further ado if you guys did enjoy today's video please hit the subscribe button if you are new hit that like button share with your friends and family comments and any type of opinion you may or may not have had on today's outfit of the day kitty delicious moment of the day or shop with me trip to kate spade retail as well, you can always support me and the channel directly by sending me a very generous super thanks donation. And you can check out the description box below for the three lucky links to my Instagram, Facebook, and Discord notification squad. I love you all to the absolute moon and back. And I'll see you all in my next video. Uh, bye! Ah, uh, I
I think it was good. I don't, I don't. I'm done. I'm done. Oh, no. Show's <laughs> over. Show's <laughs> over. See you next Taco Tuesday, bitch.